Okay, we're going to do uh, some simplification of polynomials using algebra tiles. Um, we're not going to get into really adding and subtracting until later, but this is just straight simplification, so there's no brackets here. Uh, just simple uh, collecting like terms and using the zero principle. So in order to start this, uh, let's just remind ourselves, we've got our uh, uh, positive x squared, positive x, and positive 1. We've got minus x squared, minus x, and minus 1. Okay, uh, and so when you're simplifying something without brackets, you're just looking at each of the terms separately, and we have four terms here. We have got a 3x term, and so we bring in 3x in, in tiles. We've got a positive 5 term, and so we bring positive 5 tiles in. And we've got a 4x, so we bring in 4x tiles. And we have a negative 3, so we bring in negative 3 tiles. Once you have all your tiles in, then it's up to you collecting the like terms. Here they are, here are the like terms. Like terms have the same shape, uh, not necessarily the same color. And so here are all our long tiles, and here are all our tiny squares. I call them chiclets. Uh, and then once you've got your tiles collected, then you pair them off uh, to use the zero principle. So since we have no other color than green here, just positive tiles, we can just count those. That's pretty simple. And we got 7x as the first part of that polynomial. And then we pair these off and we use the zero principle. So the zero principle basically says that if you have two tiles of the same size, but they're opposite colors, uh, they are opposite tiles and thus each pair of them equals zero. So that equals zero, and all of these equal zero. Uh, and so they are physically gone from the picture. You can take them right off the screen. And there they are, they're gone. And we're left with the 7x, and we have plus two to finish that polynomial off. Okay, let's take a look at another question. 4x minus two minus 6x plus 5. Again, we have four terms here. We've got the 4x, the minus 2, the minus 6x, and the positive 5. Um, so we bring all those terms in separately. So here's 4x. We have uh, minus 2. So there's minus 2. And we have minus 6x. So there is minus 2. And minus 4 and minus 6x. And finally, we have uh, positive 5. So there's positive 5x. So we've got all our tiles on there, and now we have to pair them off. We're going to use the zero principle, so let's do that um, where we can. And so there's uh, the zeros from the unit tiles. I'm going to move these guys out to here just so they're out of the way. And let's look for some zeros here. So uh, there's a zero. We've got one zero. We've got, and you can see as we pair these off that we have several zeros uh, in this case. So um, we've got a zero here, a zero here. Uh, here's a zero. Another zero. Another zero, and finally, the last zero here. There we go. Um, those zeros we can get rid of, and so we're physically going to do that. So we're going to get rid of this guy, gone, and all these ones, they're gone. And what we are left with in this is we are left with minus 2x and positive 3 as our final simplified answer. And finally we're going to look at something that has some of the x squared tiles in it. Uh, we have my, uh, 2x squared minus 2x plus 5 minus x squared minus 4x minus 3. Hopefully we have enough room to actually pull this off. So we have six terms in this case. The 2x squared term, the negative 2x term, the 5 term, negative x squared, negative 4x, and negative 3. And I should point out that one reason I really like algebra tiles is uh, 
because of the the um, visible distinction between x squared and x or or the relative tile. So for example, when we put the two x squareds on here, there they are, um, and then uh, minus two x. So um, you know, often kids they see negative, they see two x squared, and they see minus two x or two x. And they kind of see those as the same thing. It's hard for them, kids who struggle with the algebra, it's hard for them to actually see those as distinct and different terms. They just see the x, they both have x's, they must be the same term, and they're just going to subtract them. But when they see the algebra tiles, you can actually physically see that they are, in fact, different terms uh, because of their size. And so uh, let's bring the rest of these guys in. We've got a plus 5. We've got a minus x squared. I'm going to squeeze that guy in here. Uh, minus 4x, so there is the minus 4x, and lastly we have to squeeze in minus 3, so I'm going to squeeze those guys in right there. And now we do our zero principle, so let's see how we can do this. Uh, let's move, actually move this guy, and move this guy here, and this guy up, so we can actually uh, uh, see that we have a zero there with the x squareds. Uh, I'm going to bring these guys down here and get our zero principle with these tiles. Um, and these x or negative x tiles, they have no positive x tiles, so there's no zero principle here. So we have a zero from the x squareds right here. And we have three zeros from the unit tiles here. And so when we do the simplification, um, those zeros we can get rid of. And so we can get rid of those zeros. Those, those unit tile zeros are gone. And we can get rid of the corresponding x squared zeros. And they're gone. And so what are we left with? And we've got all our tiles here that we're left with. And we can say that this we've got an x squared, we've got a negative 6x, and we have a positive 2.